our emissary founder, Yoranda refers to what was mounted atop a wooden chest carried by the Israelites, which contained their sacred laws and was called the Ark of the Covenant. To my view, Yoranda brilliantly notes a parallel between two statues of cherubim angels, which bookend a mercy seat atop that Ark, and to the design of our brains, which have two hemispheres and in their midst, the pineal gland. Yoranda likens that pineal light to the Shekinah fire, which has been referred to as the presence of the one who dwells, or simply God's presence on earth. Yoranda also likens our brain tissue surrounding this pineal light center to the cloud of glory associated with that Shekinah fire. From the New Testament, these words attributed to Jesus, quote, for where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them, unquote. So here's a third parallel, two or more people together who are in what we might call true polarity can also bring forth the light or presence in their midst, vibrationally. Could it be that these three parallels about the design of the Ark of the Covenant, the human brain, and the relationship of two or more angels on earth are highly relevant, relevant to my and our purpose. They're not a lifeless abstraction of ancient biblical lore. No, as it turns out, this is hot stuff for our lives. Any of us may engage with another in reciprocal spiritual gifts of the heart. Now, now, now. And then there's the one in our midst. I love simple explanations. And I once saw a spiritual cartoon designed for children, which displayed a simple note tacked to a tree saying, I take care of you and you take care of me. It was supposed to be a note from God explaining to children our covenant or agreement that we take care of the trees or nature and nature takes care of us. But the covenant can be more completely expressed. God gives his gifts to and through us, and we give our gifts to God, but not only by loving our creator with all, no, but also by loving one another giving and receiving reciprocal spiritual gifts to and from each other in a divine radiant atmosphere. And then there is the one in the midst, the radiant pineal amidst the hemispheric clouds and the ark, first the ark of agreement or covenant, but also we know an electrical ark can be the spark or light, which is between two poles in right polarity between any two of us. And when it's amplified by many, it becomes a vibrational arc. Here are more exciting words by Yoranda. To the degree that the body yields to the presence of the one who dwells, the reality of the manifestation of the fire and the cloud increases, increases. So we can not only experience the presence of the one who dwells, but also increase that presence ourselves and the cloud of glory in our expression now and wherever we are. But only, Yoranda says, in proportion to the degree that we yield to the one who dwells. So I ask myself, why not yield all the way? As a boy, I had relatives in Tennessee. And I'd play with their neighbor who was about my age when I was on vacation. When he had a moment of unexpected good fortune, this neighbor boy would say, Shazam, I've died and gone to heaven. Well, I find that when there is the experience of the presence, that language changes to I've lived and am in heaven. I live, I am in heaven. And I have the opportunity to bring this increase of heaven, of the fire, of the cloud, the presence, 
so well articulated by Yoranda to my world. Shazam, I can do this. And we are, we are doing this.